Um, I was asked the question, um, why do I do this and not charge money for it? I mean, I do have a donation part here, but um, it's going to be a surprising answer, actually. It's not going to be what you think. Um, like, the idea that I'm doing it for other people uh, is, not, is not the thing. The intention I do this and I don't know that there, is even, there was even a choice in this happening. It seemed like there was a calling to like, speak in front of others. Um, it spontaneously ar ar arose. Um, there was just this thing to stand up in front of people. As soon as I, had, I got into Hawkins and um, started doing the work, and I'd had the near-death near spiritual experience, and then I got Hawkins and got to meet Hawkins, and it was explained everything. It was more like there was this um, not even not even mental it wasn't even a decision it was like something wanted to speak about it to other people and uh, I remember the three of us that went to meet Hawkins we came back and and I think I asked the guy we started going to Course in Miracles groups at that time and I said I want to speak to people as well but can I use your office and can we run a Course in Miracles group from your office this was, I don't know, like, what is this, 18, 19 years ago, 17 years ago? I said, yeah, you know, like, come, come here once a week and we'll, we'll put it, the word out, there's a Course in Miracles group. And I just, and when I started speaking to other people, there was a feeling of being in alignment about the things that I had, that I was experiencing, that something wanted to speak, and it wasn't a choice. It was like something just wanted to speak with other people. And then... When I got my hypnotherapy practice, I had one in, I had an office in Warren Street above the Jeep station, a little tiny room. So in the evening, I'd run my Hawkins group in this tiny little room, which was very small, and people would come, and I put it on Gumtree, spiritual group every week, Hawkins group, and people would come to the group. And we had like, incredible things happen there, like uh, we'd have like really amazing muscle testing stuff going on in that, in that place. And that stopped for a while. I stopped my practice. I couldn't use that. And then, you know, and then, lots of miracles happened for the startup of this group, you know, which I won't go into on camera. So that was a calling. And it's not, you know, like on a deeper level, on an intellectual level, I know that um, there is oneness. And when I do spiritual work, other people benefit. And I don't consciously choose to speak. It's not like a choice. It's like something that has to happen. It's not like a choosing. It's not like there's a me that wants to be good to other people. I know some other people are like have big hearts and want to save the world. That didn't really arise in me. You know, like let me go and save the whole world and look how everyone's suffering. I think I come from an addiction background. It's more like, and it's, I think it was more like, the, but there was, a, there was like a joy to speak to people and there was something that wanted to be free. I was guess it was more the freedom of myself. You know, and that, what I was taught for the freedom of myself is that there is no me and others. So when I free myself, others are freed as well. And also, if I want to free myself, the more people I can help, the better it is for me to free myself. So, so everything works in the same way, but I didn't come from the angle, well, some people, I can see them, they've got big hearts, mm. and they want to go around and save everyone and see the suffering. For me, it was like, I want to be free. And then all the spiritual teachers said that as you do your work, and as you share with others as well, that you're going to help, help you be free as well. So, and then of course it becomes more of a state of consciousness, you realise we're all one. So, me being free is the same as everyone being free, so it, it loosens. But the original orientation wasn't like, you know, I was in addiction and I had a big heart and I saw everyone suffering and I thought, I'm going to devote my life to ease the suffering of all of humanity, because look at how they suffer. Uh, it was more for personal freedom, but also realizing we're all one, and that when I become free, other people become free at the same time. And also, it's natural as you do spiritual work to want to share it with others and help others, but that wasn't my primary thing. My primary was to be free myself. And I see the group. I didn't make a choice to do the group. It's something like urge within me, wants to speak in front of other people and share what I know. It wasn't a mental choice. Uh, to do that and even you could say intuitively when I do the group I feel a lot of grace like in I go to lots of trust at meetings but I feel